what's up loves welcome back to my channel it's your girl tiffany t if you are new here a super welcome to you we are here with our 2024 content planning video are you guys enjoying all the other 2024 planning videos i know that i am enjoying doing them putting them together just making sure that my year is starting off right and that i have a full plan i'm telling you the plan is the it, it's the juice the plan is the sauce the plan is the key it is that thing that again when motivation is not there when excitement is not there even when your goals are not yet hit the plan does not have feelings okay the plan does not have emotions the plan is the plan and it just has to get done so let's get right into it so Obviously, this is a video for my content creators. Now, let me be honest with you. Even if you don't consider yourself a content creator, because I have not looked up what they define content creator as, but everybody who's on social media is a content creator. Like you created the content that you're putting out. But of course, I believe that content creators are people who have tapped into a niche or a focus and they intentionally create content around that for their audience, right? So the difference is there are people who are just on social media and they're just posting about all sorts of random stuff, sharing pictures when they, you know, go out, things about their family. They may be consistent. They may not be consistent, but they're not consistently sharing how to do this, that, and the other with natural hair, right? So for those of you who, who are intentionally saying, I want to be a content creator, or even if you have a business, and you're like, I need to get better with creating the content for my business. Again, that is your niche, that your niche, that is what you are specifically creating content for. Then this particular video is for you. So you guys know that a couple things. One, I am a realtor. It is absolutely what I love to do, what I'm called to do. Um, and so I have to create content for that. Now, I will say it's crazy because it's just marketing. <laughs> That's how we see it. As marketing so the content for my marketing is what I'm going to be focused on and you guys know I got my scrap paper and my pen here so I'm gonna be writing as we're talking so obviously my real estate right but also I am a youtuber like it is something that I love in 2023 I was able to monetize I hit that thousand subscribers and now we are constantly growing so that is another area where I really want to focus and I want to grow, right? It is my YouTube. Now, I will say I do also have a YouTube that I am building up for my real estate business, and that is specifically to get leads. But I wanted to put a quick pin in here before we start planning because being a content creator or those of you who are trying to become a content creator, it is so easy to get distracted and discouraged. Reason being is when you're growing specifically a YouTube channel, although I'm planning the content here for all of my social media, when you're trying to grow on YouTube, you are pulled in multiple different directions. You have some people that will say to you, don't start off with vlogs. People don't know you. Why do they care what you do in your day? Sit down and do educational how-to style videos. But then you have people that'll say, just create the goal is to just get the videos out once a week or however often and then wherever your audience start gravitating toward that is what you know you're good at or you should focus on and then once you build you can go off into vlogs and different things of that nature i'm going to tell you guys i got caught up in it i got caught up in the rat race and then sometimes you will look at other content creators and you'll see what they're succeeding at and you'll figure out how to implement it into your world. It is a lot. It is a lot. It's draining. And if I can be honest with you, it is unnecessary. <laughs> and so for me, well, let me not say it's unnecessary, right? If these people are succeeding and doing well, however they're doing, I don't know everybody's journey. I'm not going to say it's unnecessary, but I will say it is draining and it can very much so become draining. So what I have learned, what I am focused on is that you have to be yourself. You are not going to succeed both on and off camera 
which is what y'all know I'm all about. You're not going to succeed on and off camera trying to do it any other way. You have people, you know, I even think about some of the movies that I watch and you have people that are literally pretending to be in a certain relationship for social media. It is not worth it. In 2024, if you are going to create content, I want you to be yourself. Now, granted, there may be some, you know, trends that pop up that you actually like and you want to jump on. But you have to understand that every trend that comes around, it may not be you and it is okay. Do not feel like you have to gravitate toward and do every single thing that everybody is doing because also everybody is not your audience. So said all that to say, <laughs> as we are planning, as we are planning 2024, I told you guys in a previous video that my goal is obviously I am a realtor. I am showing my real estate journey here. But I also don't just want to focus on one gift. God has given me multiple gifts. And while I won't have every one of them on camera, I do want to express and focus on growing as more than just a realtor. So going into 2024, I am more so focused on the whole person, the whole being, the whole woman. So I know that was a lot, but again, you guys know my goal is to really encourage us and help us to really be focused and be true to ourselves. So a couple things when it comes to our content plan for 2024. So thing number one, obviously you got to decide if you're going to do content or not. Okay. You, you have to decide if you're going to commit to the content or not. And so obviously you're here because you want to commit to it. So I am committed to creating content. So not necessarily in any order, but let's go ahead and put it out there. So first and foremost, what channels or what platforms do you plan to create content on, right? So for me, I'm Instagram, I'm Facebook, I'm LinkedIn, and I'm YouTube. So now I know that. So you may be Threads, you may be Twitter, you may be Snapchat, you, know, you may be TikTok. You have to know what platforms do you plan to create your content or shoot your content out on, okay? So now we know what our social media platforms are. Why is this also important? Because I know that if I'm on maybe Threads and Twitter, I'm going to have to have a lot of... um status style content. I, I don't, I'm not on those. So y'all can see I'm kind of like stuttering for the word, but status style, maybe shorter form status style content to share and post and tweet out. I know that if I'm on Instagram, I'm going to be having to do a lot more reels. If I'm on TikTok, I got to teach somebody something, right? That is what the TikTok focus is. So I'm saying all of that to say, Knowing the platforms before you start planning out different content is very important because now you know what forms you're going to be doing. If you're on YouTube, you're going to have to learn to do more long form content, right? Instagram, you got a good, what, minute and 30 seconds. Facebook, you got a status. Like, <laughs> if I could be honest, and you guys can tell me what you think about it, my Facebook does better with like my status and static pictures still over reels. Although Facebook has like launched reels, I still post reels there, but I get like hundreds of like comments and interactions on static pictures and statuses over my reels. But anyway, so yes, what platforms are you going to be on? And now with that being said, you know the type of content you need to create. So next, after we know what platforms we're going to be on, I want you to actually ask yourself, think through, talk through, write down some ideas. If you're just getting started, those of you who are not just getting started, this is more so just a 2024 prep because you already know what is my niche? What is my focus? So for me, again, I already know, obviously my real estate content. And even with that, you may even want to go a little more in, into detail. So when I say real estate, what do I mean? I'm doing, you have property tours, right? You have education, because I have to educate my clients. There's client experience and interaction. So what I mean by that is different 
events, um, client reviews, different things of that nature. So client experience, events, and interaction. That is what I'm sharing, right? Um, but not just luxury property tours. Tours, again, on my leads page for my YouTube channel, I'm sharing all things in multiple high-end cities, right? So everything that there is to know about these cities for people who want to move here, where they want to move into Michigan, or they already live in Michigan and they want to move up and move into any of these areas. So that is another part of my real estate. So you want to get specific and I'm telling you, this is going to help. I promise this is going to help. Okay. So the luxury property tours, education, always client experience and events, all things specific city. And then also, well, I'll do that on my YouTube. So that is more so what I am sharing on my Instagram and on my real estate YouTube page, as well as LinkedIn, because LinkedIn, LinkedIn is business for me. Now, when I come to this YouTube channel, which I love y'all, y'all are the absolute best, this channel brings about a couple different things. So here, I am very much so focused on God, my relationship with God. Now, let me say this, right? Because we are actually planning our content for 2024. This is our brainstorm session. This is what your page and your paper or whatever you're doing gets to look like. And then we update and organize it in the computer for our plan for the new year. So when I say God, what does that mean? There's so many spaces and places that you can go when you say things like God, because again, there are different, you know, gods. There's only one real God, one almighty living <laughs> God. But there are a ton of little gods, right? right? The little G gods. So you have to be very specific on what you're talking about. For me, you guys know we already started it. I am doing my 53-week series on understanding God and Jesus. That is amazing because my 2024 for my God, God focus on YouTube is already planned out. So boom, right? <laughs> now, some of you, you may want to focus on a certain type of journey and it's not a series, so you're going to have to get a little more specific, but that is going to be what you are doing. You're going to write down specifically what it is that you are focused on, okay? And let me say this. If you don't know for the entire year, I was just actually talking to my boyfriend with his content creation and building up the men's group that he's building up, do it for the first quarter, right? And then at the end of every quarter, then focus on the next quarter, so on and so forth. For me, I am an all year type girl. And then if things happen in the middle of the year, very open to adjusting because you guys know I do weekly reviews and then I do monthly reviews, which makes it a little easier. So now that I know I am already, my God is already set because it's a 53 week series. And then next, I also on this channel, do my day in the life videos, which I absolutely love doing those for you guys. I know that y'all love the day in the life, watching me grow my business, especially now that I have transitioned over into my luxury real estate business. So my day in the life videos. Now, like I said, going into 2024, I am really all about the whole person. So as I've been doing my, um, you know, best planners for 2024, spiritual plan for 2024, like right now, uh, content plan. I've done my reading plan for 2024. As we go into 2024, I am going to be talking about other very, very important things for the whole person. Things that you just need to do in 2024 that you probably have been putting off. Like forgiveness. Let, let's bring forgiveness into 2024. Let's stop playing games with it, right? Um, for some of you, just getting started, getting started on that business, getting started on that thing that has been in your heart. It could be completely outside of my scope of business and what I do. You could be someone who knits, you could do hair. I can't do no hair. Um, but whatever it is, my focus for 2024 is really to help us focus on the whole person. I tell you guys all the time. I'm sorry. Y'all see we are family. I'm just scratching my ear. Itch. I'm sorry. Um, I tell you guys all of the time that when you see me and you see my success and you love me and you love who I am and you guys are texting me, you're so amazing. I love your spirit. Y'all bless me so much, by the way, when you say that. I always have to tell you, 
It's not just the real estate business. It is who I am and what I'm doing behind the scenes to get there. So that is what we're going to focus on in 2024. It's just going to be the whole person, okay? So I'm super excited about that. And that is my YouTube. So now that I know what my focuses are for my Instagram, my Facebook. Nope, I didn't say Facebook yet. Okay, so my Instagram page, my LinkedIn page, I know what those business, my business focuses are for my content for the new year. Both of my YouTube pages, I know what they are. And then Facebook. So Facebook for me, again, my audience is uh, so mixed. So my audience really, really grew when I was sharing my celibacy journey a few years ago. But then I also have an audience that grew because of my real estate. So it's, I don't want to say it's hard, but I do have two different audiences. So my Facebook is kind of the place where it is a hub and it's not one of those it's not one of those platforms where I have to choose for the algorithm. I post to reach everyone, if that makes sense, right? Because I know it's, I even said it, like everybody's not your audience. So it's not that I'm trying to, that's what it is. I'm not necessarily on Facebook trying to get a new audience. On Facebook, I, this is my space to be free and I'm able to connect with the audience that I already have. So I know that the people who are there that are following me love to hear about Jesus. I know that the people who are there who are following me love to hear about my journey with my new relationship because they journey with me in my singleness. I know that the people who are following me love what it is that I do in business. So Facebook is the place where I kind of collaborate or, or, or I'm sorry, I combine all of what I'm doing individually on each one, if that makes sense, like real estate or on my YouTube channel. I don't do relationship videos. Not saying that I won't ever. You guys have seen my boyfriend in a video before. I may say something about him, but this is not that, right? But on Facebook, it is really all of me combined. And well, we'll get to that in a second, okay? So let's recap. So first, you know, which social media platforms you're on. Now that you know which platforms you're on, you basically know what you're going to be doing, whether it's that, you know, the status type content, long form, short form, reels, et cetera, et cetera. Now that I know that, what is my, what are my niches? What are my talking points? What are my focuses, right? So I know luxury property tours, real estate education, client experience and events, um, all things in specific high-end areas. Then as we transition to my YouTube, God, our 53-week series this year uh, for 2024, day in the life videos, and then just the whole person, getting that whole person together for 2024. And then Facebook is my place where I can just be me in all the things, all right? So I want y'all to comment below. Are y'all moving with me? Y'all rocking? Y'all writing this stuff down? Are you feeling good? If you're feeling overwhelmed, if at any point, listen to me, if at any point something is too much, stop. Not only do I want you to stop, but I want you to eliminate. I had to do this. Last year, I was kind of posting, you know, posting a TikTok and things. And I just, I didn't get, I didn't get into it. In 2024, I said, I'm not going to worry about TikTok. I'm, just, I'm not going to do that to myself. So when Threads came out, I said, I'm not doing that to myself. So I need you to understand if you're not doing LinkedIn, eliminate it. You might not even be doing YouTube. You could just be here listening for your other content, okay? That is one of the biggest things that I want to say about our content planning is that the creator is the most important part of all of this. You are the most important part of all of this. I want you to get that at all times, all right? So now that we know what our focus is, what it is going to look like, now it is time for us to actually plan out the content. So, a couple things. Let's kind of work. I don't want to say work backwards. So my goal, or no, let's go here. How many days a week do you want to post on each platform? Okay. So again, for me, Facebook is sporadic. So fa Facebook, I do not have to plan for. Okay. Facebook is one of those I could be up at three in the morning and God could say something to me. I'm posting that on Facebook. My boyfriend and I could have a random date night 
and I pull my camera out to record and I just want to share that with everyone. So Facebook is more sporadic for me. Okay. Let's pop down to my Instagram. For Instagram, I have two separate Instagram pages. So I have my personal Instagram where it is my, it is my real estate business, but just like Facebook, I do share, um, spiritual things over there as well, but it is more organized. It is actually planned out. Okay. So Instagram, I have to post. My plan is post four times per week. Now, what that means is if I post five, six or seven, that's great. But in the planning process, I have to post four times per week. The thing about that is it is two times on my Tiffany and Adrena page, which is just luxury real estate because she also is required to post there as well. And then on my personal page, it is two times, okay? So four times a week, two on each page. Again, there are things that come up where I could post more and something that I am active in throughout the week is my stories. So same thing. Stories are one of those things that you just kind of can pop up and share the moment that you're in, what it is that's going on. You just finished work, working out. You just made your favorite tea, those type of things, right? But in addition to that, when it comes to preparing for the week, there are some stories that are planned based on the Instagram posts that are planned, okay? So you have to know and write down how many times per week are you posting on each platform. So Facebook sporadic, Instagram four times per week, um, Instagram stories is throughout the week consistently. Now, LinkedIn, here's the great thing about my LinkedIn. While I am active on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a copy and paste platform for me, right? Some of you, LinkedIn might be super high you may be a little more understanding of the algorithms you may have great connections and you're like i really want to go in and go hard on linkedin i think as a business owner it is just you should be on linkedin so linkedin is a copy and paste for me what does this mean the business content that i create for instagram that i create for my youtube those go onto a linkedin okay so that is the good thing that my LinkedIn pretty much follows my Instagram and YouTube. Is this making sense or is it sounding too busy? Because I hope it's making sense to you guys. I'm really trying to break it down and show you how it is that I plan while we also get our plan out. So LinkedIn is copy and paste. Instagram and YouTube, and that is strictly business. So none of my spiritual stuff, none of my dating stuff regarding me and my boyfriend, none of that goes on my LinkedIn. Only, again, what I laid out, luxury property tours, education, client experience and events, um, information in different cities, those are the things that go on my LinkedIn channel. And then lastly, YouTube. How many times per week? So, we are posting to YouTube four times, but there is a breakdown. Remember, I have two YouTube channels. So my Lee's channel, I post once per week. And this channel, my goal, y'all think I'm going to do it, is three times per week. So all of that content that I told you guys I'm bringing, my 53-week series is one. My day in the life is one. And then focusing on the whole person. That is three videos for the week. Y'all, that is commitment. But that's why this plan is so important because I'm going to do it. Okay? All right. So we're moving right along. We know what platforms we're on. We know what our focuses are going to be. We know how many times per week we want to uh, post to each one. So now that we know how many times we want to post, now we pretty much know how much content we need every week. So let's plan how we're going to get that done. So first thing first, what days are you going to record content? What does your content recording day look like? Okay. So for me, content recording happens on Friday. Today is Friday <laughs> and I am sitting here recording this video with you guys. 
I have already today recorded one, well, one, but I did one part at home, two other parts out in the field. So one long form video, I've already done one. Now I'm doing this one, which makes two, and then I'm recording two more after this. So that's four videos I'm recording today. And then reels, I've done one, two, three, four. I've done five reel recording already today. Now, all of them won't necessarily be posted next week. It is so important that you batch content. You might get sick. All sorts of things can happen. But you have to know and be prepared. I start early in the day on Friday. It's dark outside. You guys can't see. But I shoot content all day on Friday. But throughout the week, I'm not trying to shoot content. Now, again, there are amazing things that happen. I can't pre-shoot a closing, right? Because closings happen all the time. I can't, there are certain things I can't pre-shoot an event. I can't shoot that until it comes. So there will be certain things that are a part of your schedule that you can't necessarily pre-plan, but everything that you can plan needs to be in a planner, okay? So again, what is your content recording day? You may have two. You may say, I'm going to do half my content on Tuesday, half on Thursday, or I'm going to take Friday and Sunday to record. You have to decide when am I going to shoot my content. Now for me, shooting content includes both long form video, uh, long form video reels, as well as taking pictures. So when I say, when is your content day? I am talking about all that. You need pictures for your uh, content. You need reels. You need long form video. So what is your content recording day? All right. Next up, what is your editing day? You didn't just make the content, but you got to edit. You got to cut. All right. As Although you are amazing, right? We are not perfect. Y'all don't see me and my bloopers. I don't always edit them out, but <laughs> it is some stuff that I absolutely edit out. So you're going to have to sit and edit those long form videos or again like i said i have one video that i recorded today but it was in three separate settings so i have to put them together i have to work on transitions you guys have guys have seen me put questions and pictures and all of that into the videos how and when do you think that happens it is called an editing day okay so for me editing takes place on saturday here's why editing here, here's how you can make editing easier, right? Of course, you got to get your editing software. So what are you going to do your videos on? The great thing nowadays, if you guys have Canva, you can use that. But editing, scheduling, all of that, most of them you can do right through the platforms. But I use Splice for my videos. I, use, I will use Perfect Look, I believe is what it's called, to edit some of my photos. And then I also use Canva to create. But what's going to make your editing day amazing is what we just did beforehand. Knowing how many videos, photos, or posts I need for the next week. So I know that I need four videos, video and or posts for Instagram. LinkedIn follows Instagram and YouTube, so we're already good there. Facebook is sporadic, so we're already good there. And then I need four videos, long form videos for my YouTube channel. So I know for sure that on content day, I need to at least be recording eight pieces of content. Now again, it could be a static picture. Everything doesn't have to be a video. It could even be an educational post that is all words. It doesn't have to be a video. It doesn't have to be a picture. Now, of course, keeping in line with trends and what's popular, most is video form. But I at least know that on recording day, I need a minimum of eight pieces of content. I always say over, over create if you can, because I just got random ones where I'm just driving in the car not saying anything and I can add voiceovers. I can add, again, educational pieces and things like that to it. But I just want to keep you guys to the bare minimum so that you're not overwhelmed. So on content day, I know that I at least have to record eight pieces of content because I know that next week, four need to go out on Instagram and four need to go out between both of my YouTube channels, okay? 
Same thing on editing day. If I've recorded 10 pieces or taken multiple pictures, I know that on editing day, I only need to edit eight pieces of content. And I know someone would be saying, that is so much work. You have to market your business. If you want to be a full-time content, content creator, I know you don't think it's just going to be one video a week. That's not how this works. And here's why I also tell you to do what you love. Because if you're trying to create based on trends, but the stuff is not you, that's going to be hard. If you're trying to do Amazon finds because you see somebody blew up on Amazon finds, do you have the budget to keep finding stuff on Amazon? <laughs> You have to stay true to yourself. So when it is work that you love, I promise you, it does not feel like as much. Don't let, I'm not trying to lie to y'all. It's a lot. When I got home from recording, I took a break, like an hour. I was like, oh, girl, I'm tired. And I said, all right, come on. I had to hype myself back up. And now I'm back into it because that was, and here's the thing. When I was out, it was only reels that I was doing. Well, no, 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 it wasn't reels. I did have to shoot two parts of them for to some long form content. So let me not lie. But it, it it can be a lot, but the reason that it's not a lot and that I can keep going and that I'm like this after already having recorded five and six videos is because I'm doing things that I love. Talking to y'all, like bringing tips to you guys and tricks and just things to help you succeed in life and in your business. I love, I'm fueled by that. Being out in the field, recording, going to um, new construction sites, y'all, I live for that, right? So I had to come away from trying to do what is popular or what everybody else is saying or how other people blew up and I had to be true to me. And all I can tell you guys is that it's working. I have been monetized. My subscriber count is constantly growing and I am constantly being fulfilled and you guys are being blessed, all right? So let's stay focused. So again, what is going to be your editing day? And once again, especially if you're new to it, you might have to do two editing days. It might not be just one. For me, mine is on Saturday, just like Friday is a full day of content. I wake up in the morning. I do um, my morning routine. I'll do something that may be like pressing or really important. And then I'm right into makeup. I get my clothes the day before. We'll talk a little bit about that as well. But hours of content and then of course if things happen like I got a new potential client earlier today so I was texting that person um I created some content on Facebook and I've got new people that are texting me so I will stop every now and again look I'm getting distracted and, and just checking making sure I'm not missing anything but just you know stop and check that but Friday is content day and I understand that same thing with Saturday Editing for me, now that I'm used to it, is not as long. But when you have eight pieces of content, it, it is going to take a couple hours. But listen, you guys, this is a part of your brand. This is a part of the goals that you set for the year. This is a part of how you're going to get there. So you cannot look at this as something extra. You have to look at this as a priority to get myself out there and to build that business that I want. So editing day for me is Saturday. So content recording is Friday. Editing is Saturday. And then now the next one is easy. And then we're going to circle back. Publishing dates. What days do these videos go out? And the good thing about that is you can schedule the publishing date. So you've done all the work of recording. You've done all the work of the editing. Now publish is click a button. Prepare it. Okay. So for publishing, let me see. What are my days, y'all? So we got, let's start with the YouTube. So my YouTube lead channel, I want to publish on Mondays. And the thing about this also, um, when you, as you're growing on like YouTube, Instagram, all of that, they will start to show you when you look at analytics, when your people are hot, when they're looking and, you know, different things like that. So things like this could change for you. I'm going to be 100 with y'all. What I said is usually what I keep. <laughs> I'm not saying that's the best. I am not saying that that's the best route. But, I, you know, if my people are high on Tuesday at 2 o'clock this a week and they love and everything and that's when they were the greatest and then I go back and look a week later and they're like oh your people are on their Wednesday 
you're not going to drive me crazy. Okay. I'm going to set my plan because here's what I've learned. Maybe they go and look on Tuesday at that time, right? Or they will see me. It will come up. People are subscribed. People are following. So that's something that I don't do. I'm no expert. I'm not the content guru. Y'all not paying me to do this. So I can just talk freely and I'm hope, hopefully I'm helping somebody. But I am telling you, the analytics are there to show you when your people are high. I will say my YouTube moving forward, I have been able to see that I can see hot times for those, you know, those um subscribers, but I'm just saying throughout the year, I'm not necessarily changing it up. All right. So for my leads page, I'm going to publish Mondays at 2 p.m. All right. For this page that we're on now, I have three separate video styles. So my 53 week series, I'm also going to do on Monday, my day in the life videos. What y'all think? We don't want to see that. We'll do those on Wednesday because I also want to spread them out. And then something I did look at on analytics is my Saturdays, which is, okay, I might switch that up. The whole person. I think I'm going to switch that up. I think I'm going to do, and I'm telling you what I'm doing, but you guys should be writing your stuff down, okay? I'm going to do my day in the life on Saturday because I think people will probably like more like lifestyle content, you know, those type on the weekend. Y'all let me know. And then like my whole person, I'll do those on Wednesday. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Okay. And I'm going to put my um, times next to these as well. So once you edit, you can upload, let them do what it is that they do. Having to be prepared. You can schedule, et cetera, et cetera. And literally it's just when it's time to publish, it publishes. All right. So Instagram, remember our Facebook is sporadic. So Facebook is good to go. Instagram, I plan to post. So on my Tiffany and Adrena page, we have already planned our stuff out for 2024. And I have Tuesday and Friday, which I have 9 a.m. post. And the great thing about this is I always tag myself as a collaborator. So that part of my real estate business also shows up on my personal page. Now, in addition on my personal page, kind of like this page, again, I do share some lifestyle and some spiritual things as well. So my goal there is to also post Monday and Wednesday. So those are my required days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Again, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to be in my stories. And if something happens that I feel like, again, if it's a closing or, you know, something that happens, then I can post, but these are my must. This is the plan, okay? And Monday, Monday and Wednesday will be later in the evening. So I kind of have a mixture. Tuesday, Friday, I'm posting in the morning. Monday and Wednesday is more like afternoon, evening, all right? I am putting my times down. So what are we missing? And then LinkedIn follows, again, YouTube and Instagram. It is a simple copy and paste, which makes that really, really easy. So how are we looking, y'all? We know exactly what platforms we're posting our content on next year. We know exactly what our niche, our focus, our topic um, ideas are going to be next year. We know how many times per week we want to post on each platform next year. We have our content recording day. We have our content editing day. And we just completed our publishing day. Y'all, we are on the move. We are literally on the move. And we're almost done. Just a couple more things. So I want to backtrack really quick. Something that, y'all, if y'all don't hear nothing else, the most important part of this is your content preparation. You don't want to get to your content day. Like, I don't want to get to Friday and then figure out what I'm doing. Because that has now just taken an hour where I could have been shooting content and I already have so much content. 
So your content prep day. And the great thing, the thing that I love about content prep for me, I might have shown you guys this, but I have, oh, it's in my, I think it's in my book bag because I just got home from content, but not just got home, but I have, this is one notebook where I write out like scripts and um, what I'm going to actually do for that day. But I have a notebook that I just carry with me. And if I think of a piece of content, I write it down. So that way, when it's time to roll around for me to actually do content, I'm not like, what am I going to say? What am I going to talk about? Right? So your content prep day. So my content prep day takes place on Thursday. And what does prep day look like? Because yours may be Monday. Yours may be Wednesday. Yours may be Sunday. Sunday may be a slower day for you. And you may say, I'm going to sit down for 30 minutes and I'm going to do my content prep. Okay? Okay. So my content prep day is Thursday. What does this look like? First and foremost, I write down for real, 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 real. I write down what the focus of that reel is going to be. Next, YouTube, 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 YouTube. Write down the focus of what that YouTube is going to be. The best part for me going into 2024 is I already know 53 week series. I already know day in the life. So those two are pretty much set. The only thing that I really have to think about is the whole person because this is a new kind of piece of content for me. And then also my leads channel, there's so much that I can focus on. So I'm actually going to have to sit down, figure out and decide, but I'm doing that the day before my content day. So after we know what we're shooting, then next we go and get our outfits together. I hope you guys can feel how easy this is based on the planning. The outfits are not hard because I know if I'm doing a luxury property tour or a real estate educational, I need to dress business. If I'm talking about God, I can pretty much, you know, dress chill, comfortable, dress up, down, however. Um, if I'm just doing lifestyle talking with you guys, I got to look cute. I got to look presentable, right? So getting the outfits super duper easy but once content day comes you're not thinking the listen ain't nothing worse than trying to figure out what you're wearing can i get an amen in the comments okay so after we so our content prep we know what we're shooting uh we have our script so sometimes a script is required um so let me see because i don't have my other little notebook but you guys can see right here. So this was last Friday and this Friday. So for instance, up top, it says real. Join us fourth Saturdays for Luxury Zoom. So I know what that meant is the real that I'm doing is I'm inviting people to the luxury reels that myself and Adrena hosts, right? So the next reel, um, join me for the 53 weeks of understanding God and Jesus. So based on your personality, you may just put what the focus is, or you may be a person that actually goes in and put a specific script. So for instance, another reel that I'm doing is three uh, predictions for 2024. I have those written all the way out. I don't just have like a word because I want to make sure that I get all of that information in there. Okay. So that's another part of preparation is either just an outline, a topic, or you may need to literally sit down and do a script, but you're doing that the day before all of this is not happening on one day. So I promise you, if you put this into action, it's going to be so much easier. So content prep, we get our script and then we also get our outfits. For some of you, it's going to include looking up locations. If you want to do some content at a coffee shop or if you want to go out to some store. Uh, for me, when I have to go to different properties, I have to, have to actually sit and plan out my location. So while that may not be all the time, let's put that in our content prep day of plan out locations. All right. How y'all feeling? Because I'm feeling good. I'm feeling... Everything is going very well. Okay. And then the very last thing, you guys, for me, is what are your goals? What are your goals for your content plan 2024? So I have a couple goals. I have a couple goals. For my IG and YouTube, my this, which is my main YouTube page, I want 10K subs. 
That's for both page, for both pages. So 10K on Instagram, 10K on YouTube. All right, that's a goal. And then also on my uh, leads page, I want a thousand subs. That one I don't post as consistently. Well, no, no, no. I post consistently, but I don't post as many. Um, so for this page, the reason that I'm taking it up to three a week is because I want to increase my subs and another goal. Y'all, this is a crazy goal. I actually want to look up something. I want to make, I don't even know. I, I didn't do any research. I'm trying to figure out where this number even came from that I want to make $8,000. Like I want to hit a check of $8,000 on YouTube. Why I think I can do that, I don't know. I Last month, I made my first check on YouTube. <laughs> if y'all want to know how much it was, y'all can comment below. But what I want to look up is how much does the average YouTuber make? Let's check some stuff. This is a, this is this content planning, y'all. This is us real life planning together. Does the average YouTuber make? Now, you may say, I want TikTok to pay me. I want Instagram. I want Facebook. I want them to pay me. But I'm focused on YouTube now when I'm talking about compensation. And it says, according to ZipRecruiter, the average YouTuber makes about 60000 a year. No, yes, that is my number. I think I did this in the bed the other night. If 60000 what is that? 12 divided by 12 is 5000 5000 is my number is what I want to make. I just did this in bed the other night. So I want to see a $5,000 check. Maybe we'll see a $5,000 and $8,000. So that is my goal. You may say, I want to get monetized. I want to see my first check on YouTube. That was my goal for this year. I did it. So now next year, we moving on up. And I want to see a $5,000 check from YouTube. So again, I think that's it. I have my plan. Yes. All right, y'all, so let's recap. What social media platforms are you posting content on? Okay, next, what are your focuses? What are your, what's your niche? What are your topics? Is it for your business? Okay, next, how many days per week are we posting on each of these platforms? Again, whether we are doing reels, long form video, picture, whatever the case may be, how many days do we have to post on each? After that, let's get a little more in depth. What is our content recording day or days? What is our editing day or days? And then what are our publishing days? What days and times will this content go out on each of those platforms? Content prep, what does that look like? What day or days is that? What are your scripts for that day? What are your outfits? Get your outfits together for that day. Now, this is something that you're going to do as you come up to it. So the plan before the prep day, all of that needs to be written out in detail, okay? But content prep doesn't actually happen until the, that day actually comes. But the focus is for content prep day is what are your scripts for the content? Get your outfits together, plan out your locations. And now that we have this entire plan together, what are our goals? What are the goals? And here's why I do goals last because most people would do the goal first. So my goal is to blah, blah, blah. And then here's how I'm going to get it. The most important thing is not the goal. It is the plan. It is the action itself to me. So now that I know all of this, I feel confident because I've laid out these actions that I can hit 10K, that I can hit 1K, that I can hit 5,000, all right? So I am super excited. I need y'all to comment below as always. Was this helpful? Are you a content creator? Are you getting started uh, as being a content creator? Are you already an influencer on one platform and then you're gonna be building it on the next one? Are you building your brand for your business? As you guys can see, I am pretty much doing both. So I'm super excited. Of course, I'm gonna get this organized. We're gonna get this organized and put it into my computer. So that will be all set. 
This is going to be an amazing year and it is going to be because of the planning. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you like, I hope you comment, I hope you subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.